Hey guys, Jesse, Tiny Idahomes here. Um, I posted uh, some pictures of this fifth wheel for sale, but I wanted to give the video tour and more ex explanation of the functionality. This is a uh, 2017 uh, Tiny Idahomes toy hauler, tiny house, so to say, uh, tiny house RV. Uh, it's the first toy hauler we've built. We've had a lot of requests for it, so it was in the design phase for quite a while. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick tour here of the outside, then we'll go into the inside. First off is uh, everything in here is heated storage area. It's got holding tanks under here. Everything's heated. Uh, it's got 100 gallons of fresh water, 50 black and 50 gray. So uh, even your discharge pipe is inside the heated area. Um, and you got some storage under here for heated storage. So um, nice little feature there. We got, uh, there's an exhaust vent for the, for the uh, dryer there. Come around this underneath side. Um, up front here we got du dual battery storage and uh, two lay down propane tank storage there. Um, this trailer is a gooseneck. Uh, we build a lot of gooseneck style trailers here. Um, nice gooseneck trailer. It's got 8,000 pound uh, axles, so it's 16,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. So it's pretty pretty beefed up. Um, we do have a little bit of a of a uh, roundish style nose here to help with the aerodynamics. This thing pulls is wonderful. Um, coming around on this other side, uh, the slide out's out, so you can see this is a bedroom slide out here. Nice rubber seals all the way around, kind of like a traditional RV. Uh, rubber flaps on the inside and outside, double protection there. Um, these are parts that most RVs have, so you should be able to get them serviced at, at almost any RV spot. Um, you can see the LP smart soffit siding. Nice uh, vinyl windows. Down here, this is what I was talking about, uh, your discharge pipe for your tanks being inside that heated area um, so no no possible freezing there uh, this is the fill for the 100 gallon fresh tank uh, this one here has a 50 amp converter panel 12 volt convert converter panel um, the cords inside it's a 30 foot 50 amp cord there it is a marine grade twist lock um, this one has a 120 and uh, propane fridge freezer like our standard RV so we got a discharge and intake here for the fridge um, got our vent hood exhaust there this is a on-demand hot water heater again the 8k axles there you can also see these kind of look like semi tires they're, they're a heavy-duty tire um, coming around the back side this is the, the nice part about this one. Got a big garage door here. Uh, this folds down, makes a ramp to pull your toys in there to the back living room area. Also got a uh, little light there, porch light there. We've got our stabilizer jacks on the back. They are cranked down. The front ones are hydraulic landing gear, real heavy duty hydraulic landing gear. We'll come around this front side again. And uh, you might have noticed it has a 20 foot awning here. Everything in here is 12 volt. This is a 12 volt electric awning too. Um, like I said, it's 20 foot long. It, uh, I'll put it all the way out here so you can see it. Gives you a good amount of shade for this unit. got to do here is pull down on this uh, for a self adjustment, real easy adjustment. Um, that's pretty much the outside. We're going to walk inside and give you the uh, two rows. All right, here we are on the inside. Uh, I'll start by showing you this nice door. We stained a nice dark color, which you'll soon find out it kind of accents the inside dark colors. Um, just inside the door here, I'm kind of standing in the, in the kitchen area. Um, since we're right here, I want to start showing you the 50 amp RV 12 volt converter panel. So it's pretty much set up ready for solar, solar connection. 
Uh, does have two 12 volt deep cycle batteries now. Every metal space in this thing we used um, for for storage. So if there was any spot we could, we put doors and storage there. Behind this door is uh, all in one washer dryer combo. It's kind of tucked out of the way, hidden. Um, very quiet area for it there. Um, like I said, we're just about done with this unit. You'll see some touch up. We got to do a few trim pieces, things like that. Uh, paint has got quite a bit of paint touch up to do here yet. But, so there's the washer dryer. Um, we got uh, propane, four burner cooktop here. Uh, nice little cooktop. Um, I don't have propane tanks on here now, or I'll show you that. Uh, stainless steel there. We got, it, like I said, every little area we could. We have stuff, drawers, storage. This one's got a little dishwasher in it. I call this a little two-person dishwasher. Uh, got the dishwasher, range hood directly over your burners here. Built-in microwave. Uh, next to the microwave again. Anything we could. Nice storage area. It's got shelves in there. Uh, got plenty of storage here. Drawers and storage galore. Uh, so this would be a nice one for your spices there. Corian countertops with uh, what I call the cutting board drop-in accessory there. You can use that as a cutting cutting board. Stainless sink, pull-out faucet. Um, I will show you, because it is all 12 volt, I can turn this system on. Um, I'm not plugged in. There's no cord hooked up. It's running off batteries right now. And uh, the, the fresh water tank. Uh, turn that pump back off. So, uh, again, everything in here is off the grid capable. Across from the sink here, there's a wheel well down below, so we use that area to hide the wheel well and also created uh, what I would call a pantry or fruit, food storage area. Uh, it's deep enough to hold some boxes in there, canned goods, uh, and that, that's a pretty tall area. Four doors. So, lots and lots of storage there. Um, pretty much handles all your dry, dry foods there. Um, we'll walk back this direction here. Oh, forgot to mention, we got under cabinet lighting here. Along with under cabinet lighting, we also have indirect up on the nice beams and, and uh, channel going down the, the barrel roof in here. So that's what kind of makes this accent nice, along with the the rope lighting going down, we also have 12 volt little puck lights. Um, they light up this area at night very, very well. Um, so even without light in here, plenty of windows for that light coming in. Um, something I should mention is this, again, this one is 12 volt and 120 refrigerator freezer combo. Uh, decent size there, so you can run that one without being plugged in just off your propane. Uh, we've got a nice drawer below it, cubby above it, utilizing as much room as we can. So, right up these steps, I'm going to show you, we have a toilet room on this side, and a bathtub and a shower on this side, but we designed these doors, they still need the, the door handles put on, but it'll give you a good idea, because what, what happens is, if I'm in here and I don't want, some, if someone's still in the bedroom, I can open this one, which is the shower side, but it will lock into that side. And then I can also open the toilet door, which allows me to pass from shower to toilet room with the vanity in there and have it blocked off from the living room, kitchen area, and the bedroom. So it just opens up and now I can pass through like this is all one room. So we utilize this space very, very well with the doors. Um, I'll uh, allow her to walk up here, show you this the shower scenario. So in here I'm standing on top of this teak floor. Uh, the teak, I put this floor in so we can uh, stand and take a shower. We still got plenty of nice room here. You can see, I mean I'm right at six foot tall. I can still stand under here without kneeling down. Um, but you also notice we got a tub, tub spout there. So what happens is this thing folds up. Uh, we don't have our hinge on yet. I'm gonna see if I can stand back and do this. Um, 
So it's still going to get a hinge and a lock on there, but what will happen is this thing folds up, locks to the wall, so you can crawl down into there and take a bath if you would like. It is a drop down into that storage area below, but uh, it allows me to lay in here. This is a five foot bathtub, so it's pretty much a residential bathtub. Um, and that, that floor will stay up against the wall. You have a nice little place here to put your wine glass so you can take take some wine and take a nice hot bath. So that's the tub. I'll let her spin around and show you the toilet room. So in this toilet room, I'm going to squeeze through here. So in this toilet room, there's a couple features here. First is a nice tile backsplash and that's the kitchen. We do have medicine cabinet, the shelves are in the cabinet behind me, but uh, nice medicine cabinet for some storage there. Again, this is a Corian counter sink, but I made a special sink here. This faucet moves all directions. See if there's enough water pressure, but um, the pump's not on. So this all flows down into a custom drain we made. Still got to paint the cover here. But so this is a nice little sink area. Corners here to set some stuff, plus your vanity there. Uh, we got an RV toilet here. It is just a standard RV water flush toilet. Goes down into the 50 gallon holding tank. Um, and a cabinet above the toilet here for some more storage. Now we're going to walk into this bedroom. So in this bedroom, we stayed with this barn door theme. Built a barn door out here. Um, this is what I'm talking about trim wise. We still got to put a piece of trim up here to hold hide the track, but uh, custom built these barn doors to match the theme in here. And behind here, you will find a closet. Um, we got shelves here. There's a closet rod going all the way across so you can hang your clothes there. And again, open it from both sides like a standard sliding closet door. So you got plenty of storage here for clothing. Along with the closet, you also have storage on both sides of what I would call the desk TV area in this bedroom. Nice little storage cubbies there. And then also, I'm going to flip these lights on because again we got the lights. Underneath this queen bed right here, this whole bed folds up. And you got a lot of storage for your blankets and st pillows underneath this this bed. This mattress is queen. You can see a little bit of room. It will fit a king mattress in here. Um, but this this right here is a queen. This slide out. Um, I'm gonna sneak past. This slide out is 12 volt. Uh, we do have our just a push button. It's as easy as pushing in the button. The slide out moves in and out. Um, very very simple process when it slides in it does go underneath this TV just a little bit um, I'm gonna slide it back out so we can get back out but uh, it gives you it's a 36 inch deep slide it gives you a lot of room right here in this area so you're not fighting like a traditional RV to, to get around stuff so that's our bedroom now we're gonna walk back down towards the living room Again, when we're walking back down, there's our standard control panel here. It shows our battery power, fresh tank, gray tank, black tank levels. Our water pump is also there in our water heater switch. Uh, walk back to this living room. So again, this back door folds all the way down so we can pull in Harleys, ATVs, side-by-sides, four-wheelers, whatever you may, may want there. From this back door, to under this cap counter to the cabinets is just at 11 foot. It's about 11 foot 4 inches. Uh, so it'll fit a decent sized two seater side by side in there. The counter has an overhang so you can put some bar stools and eat here also. Um, this couch, I'm going to show you, folds down to a bed. This was built, custom built there to put a TV on. Has some nice cubbies for books or movies or whatnot. The nice thing about this is when the door's down and you're wanting to pull your ATV in, this, this goes up. Uh, this will go up out of the way. Uh, so when you get here, you go to slide it down, same situation, your ATV's outside. 
This also above me is a, another queen bed. This bed, there's some pins, you take these all the way up, um, you take some pins out and drop this bed drops down to a level about right, right about here. So it does take the ladder to get up, the ladder's not in here. But, uh, so that bed drops down to here, plus that bed, so you can sleep one here, you can sleep two there, some in the front also. Um, so it's kind of like a standard RV uh, bunk system in the back, uh, but it looks a little nicer for the house. This does have tie-downs in the floor to tie down your ATVs or, or toys there um, for transport. And uh, you probably saw before on the back side here there is a wine bottle holder. Um, and again, more overhead lights above the bed here and indirect lighting. So, um, and storage on the back side here also. So this unit here comes with, with the blinds. Uh, on the lower windows, comes with the washer dryer, comes with one mattress, uh, and it comes with free delivery on a full price offer. This one here is is listed right now for eighty two thousand dollars, which includes delivery. So, other than the minor few touch ups we got to do and a little bit of trim, it is pretty much ready to go. Um, has been tested and everything. So, beautiful unit, uh, and of course, tiny other homes. You know, we've been around a while and, and always pushing the bar with slide outs and, and being our first toy hauler, we're very, very proud of this one. So thank you for taking the time and we'll see you later.